welcome back to my channel this is again andrea from the andrea's training show and today is sunday and i've decided you know what i'm going to be eating some caribbean food today i just feel to eat some paratha some curry chicken with potatoes and some stew pumpkin so i'm going to show you today how i have done my curry chicken with potatoes so here we go with the recipe okay to a heated pot a skillet or if you have an iron pot, that's even much better. You want the pot to be very hot, okay? So you're going to add some oil. And the oil that I'm using, this, the one that I have, you can use vegetable oil if you want. But I have olive oil, so I'm going to use some oil. And all the ingredients are going to be posted in the description box. So you add the oil to the pot. And what I do, I put like three or four cloves of chopped garlic in the pot yes guys so once the garlic has reached this consistency it has this nice golden color right you want to fry it what i call fried in the oil so what i do now is add chief curry powder and chief curry powder is a product of the caribbean is actually a product of trinidad and tobago so i'm going to use some chief curry um, powder and I'm going to pour like about two, two tablespoons in some water, in half a cup of water. Give it a little stir. Make a paste, you know, you want to make a paste with it. And you're going to cook this curry, um, that's that the curry paste in the garlic. So you pour it in. And you let it cook until it thickens up. So all the aroma from the garlic is in the curry now, right? You want that aroma from the garlic coming to the curry. Man, chief, chief curry is a really delicious curry for making your curry stews and stuff like that. But you can use any other curry if you can't get chief curry. So you let this cook down for about a minute and then I'll be back. After about a minute or so, you find this is the consistency of the curry. It's sort of thicken up. It becomes very thick. So um, some people leave the some people choose to leave the garlic inside here, but I normally take the garlic out. And the reason why I take the garlic out after it has given all that flavor to the curry. Alright, I just push it aside. You can remove it if you want. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the um, garlic because you don't want to be swallowing all that thick garlic so now all our flavor for the garlic is in the curry so the next thing i do is to add my chicken and this is my chicken this chicken has been also um flavored with curry and all that green fresh seasoning if you look at my previous video you're going to see where i did my green seasoning so it shows you the type of seasoning you should use for nice curry chicken but if you can't get fresh seasoning you could use the seasoning that you can get in the bottles and stuff Okay, so I'm gonna, this has been kusumain or soaking overnight. So it's chicken, about this amount of chicken, well seasoned. Also added um, salt and black pepper to the green seasoning. So I'm gonna pour it into this pot. I'm gonna toss it around just a little bit. Doesn't it look nice, nice guys? It looks so, so sumptuous, ready to eat already. But you have to wait until it's cooked, okay? I'm going to raise the stove up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to let it cook down until it has softened up. Okay, guys, so after 30 minutes, this is what your chicken should look like, right? It should sort of shrink like in the pot and it should be leaving the bone. Let me show you what I mean by leaving the bone. Let me look at one of them. This one, for example, you see it's leaving the bone. So this is what it looks like. So you want to put some more water to that chicken. So I'm going to put some hot water. The reason why I'm putting the hot water is that it doesn't change the consistency of the pot, right? If you put cold water, it will decrease it, right? It will increase the cooking if you put the hot water. So I'm putting two cups of hot water and let it continue to cook down for another 15 minutes and then I'll add the potatoes 
So I'll see you again in a little bit. Okay, guys, look at it. After an additional 15 minutes of cooking, the chicken looks really, really sumptuous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the potatoes to the pot. any cracks in it okay and bring another extra flavor to that pot I'm gonna cover reduce the heat and let it cook down until the potatoes are soft and well incorporated with the curry chicken so see you again so guys look how my pot looks after additional 30 minutes of being on the stove and this is the finished product curry chicken and aloo Everything is well incorporated. The chicken has been has left the bone. Look at it here, falling apart. I'm telling you, thing to make it really squeak. Oh, the sauce. Mm. Oh my goodness, delicious. Simply delicious. Try this out at home. Like, comment, share this video with your family and friends. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget subscribe. So see you again with a delicious meal from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. This is your girl Andrea saying, see you. Bye.